we'll have some garden space here surrounding the patio, including back here. Maybe we can naturalize it back here with some cobble up above, but uh, it would be nice to do some gardens, even if it's small shrubs or cobble with catmint. I really like what the neighbor has across the street, where it's like a mulch of shattered patio stone. You can step the staircase down through the, maybe it's uh, the cap of this upper terrace, and it will split through that lower terrace. It's the second terrace down. All the yellow flags are tiki lights set standing about a foot to 16 inches above the patio concrete level. Staircase down. Might end up refilling all of this because these stones, this one, imagine it gets moved over. It's foam, water feature foam on my fingers. <laughs> this one gets moved over so that each of those steps is level, but there's a natural same stone step up in the slope here. And most of that stone will get buried, except for on the backside. And uh, on top of that, we'll get the grass along. Continue around with the uh, 15 inch thick lower level, first lower terrace, and then these massive block stones will form the second terrace up. And same thing will incorporate some like teeth in the uh, Mexican skeleton, the big block stones in the lower base level, and this upper level will have maybe a couple of block stones in the windows of these lower three big block stones. We'll look at it more from above. This one's going to be right at the... Yeah. This border, just to match the other side, will be mostly just buried single level small block stones. Uh, this is walkway, path stones, big slabs. Those stones, that top one is our main bridge stone, about five feet long. And we might be able to use this other one, one of these, for our lower bridge stone here. That one might work just perfectly, where it has a natural flare, more like that. So this can all be wider stones in here. And this, maybe it's just a small little creeping perennial bed. Anything, nothing it's big. Whether the bigger stuff, taller perennials, can hide a big boulder. Big boulder right here. But this is coming together nicely. We can move those big stones, those big granite, nice GNEISS boulders. Uh, we might even be able to get the crane to help us out when he's here next week to move the hot tub. So we'll see what we have to do. I think this is all gonna excavate out nicely. This will be excavated back more to fit the boulders in, leaving like a going for like a bigger than your average oversized indoor bathtub. It's like double your big jacuzzi size. So we'll see how that works out. It would be really cool to add a heating element to this whole deal. <laughs> but you already have the hot tub on that side, so this is the cold dip side. Heat shock therapy, right? Cascade here. I didn't paint in boulders yet. I'll do that now. I'll grab the orange paint. Let's see. Cool. So you may see a slight cascade up there. Clear pools. Reflecting spruce trees, juniper. Hopefully survives the whole construction process. Staircase coming down, bridge, staircase, bridge, the pond drainage, creek, water stone starting here. This side's kind of like the little wing. Orange are boulders, white is waterfall, pink is asylum stone. Just in case you missed that. Um, top terrace here. This is already pretty much the level that we need, so um, we might actually just do... It's nice to have the middle walkway for the sake of tending the garden. Um, so we can, we can talk about that. For symmetry, it doesn't need to be symmetrical at all, ideally. It's not. This could just be the, the sharper wing and this can be the, the double wing. Is, there's more slope on this side to retain. Top terrace, bottom terrace, chop this out more. Bring this up. It's the same kind of deal where it, we need to step down. So we'll step down with the steps and tear us out. We'll see. So all through here, will be grass. Start to drizzle. All through here, grass. And then grass spilling out in between another raised bed enclosed, raised bed enclosed area right down here. Um, border wall's coming along nicely. The neighbor stopped by or walked his dog by earlier and said it looks really cool. And stairs down over there, tiki lights down, tiki lights out. We'll have lights, tiki's at the top of the wall, potentially, or just underneath the capstone, a thin capstone at the top step on each side. And it'll be nice to do double lights. One flag is knocked over, but double lights at each end of each step. Over here, just tiki's, since that's not the main walkway. And again, this will become garden again, or cobble, 
Um, I think it'd be really cool, seeing as this is bedroom, make it another cascade out here. Maybe next year. Um, it's coming together really nicely. Grumble selection of stone today. And making good progress. All of this out here will be our water vault, dry drainage area, and I think we'll pipe, pipe in the overflow. Instead of having it want to naturally fall down slope, we'll pipe it back underneath into this garden towards those spruce trees. All that out there gets dressed up again. It's a wild meadow. Could be cool to do. Extended gardens out there. We'll talk about that. All of this is cascading gardens, cascading ground cover flowers.